All right, let's go easy cross leg. No trash talk. Just don't talk about people specifically, okay? <laughs> Jane Doe, John Smith, that's it. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Interlace your fingers and press your palms. Go ahead, look up at your hands. And then take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, bring the arms down and start to twist it out. So I want you to let the movement kind of pump the breath, almost breath of fire type. All right, so every time you twist, it squeezes your exhale. When you come through the center, you rebound inhale. <laughs> I'll separate you two. <laughs> So shoulders down, elbows up. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. Just tell them to lower the base a little bit. Yep. Thanks. I just kicked her out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Leave? No. I love her. <laughs> so pick up the speed a little bit. Make sure those shoulders are down. I don't know if it's the cold or Thanksgiving coming or what, but it took a whole hour in my morning class to get the shoulders down. <laughs> Thanksgiving anniversica, right? Yeah. Thanksgiving? I just saw it on the uh, synagogue next near our house that said Happy Thanksgiving. Really? <laughs> Thank you, doll. Almost there, almost there. Pick up the speed, tall, tall, through the top of your head. You're gonna go, we're filming today, just so you know, too. This is not seen that much, and the back row is completely out of it. <laughs> In more ways than one. And then come to center and stretch the right arm up to the sky. And reach it over. So I'm kind of torn between telling you guys ahead of time when I'm going to film that you won't show up. But um, we're going to get a, a yoga board. Come back to center. Left arm up and over. And I, I probably will predetermine the days so you know ahead of time. If no one shows up, then I won't determine them anymore, all right? And then come back to center. Let's take a deep breath in. This time, interlace your fingers the opposite way. Press the palms up to the sky. Take a big, extra big inhale. And then on your exhale, bring the arms down. Keep the back nice and tall. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. So if you're going to hit somebody, just stagger a little bit. Close the eyes. Keep the lift through the body, lift through the top of the head. It doesn't matter how fast or slow your arms are going, it just needs to be in sync with your breath. This is said, said to fan your heat and displace your anger. <laughs> Imagine me walking down the street like this all day. <laughs> it kind of like sets your space too, right? <laughs> if I hit you, that means. And then arms up to the sky, palms press, hold it there. Lengthen out your side body, interlace your fingers the opposite way. One more time, press the arms up. And then exhale the arms down and lie down onto your backs. Make sure you have enough room. So situate yourselves. When you extend your arms overhead, you're not hitting anybody, or kicking anybody. And take your morning yawn, your reaching stretch. Exaggerate it. That's what I'm talking about. I'll do this for you. It. and then press the low back into the floor 
And go ahead, opposite arm, opposite leg. You could start with a bent knee, but keep the head relaxed. Chris is doing a double. This is her second class today. <laughs> she was part of that shoulder group, but just couldn't drop the shoulders today. Which hamstring feels tighter? Which hip? Which shoulder maybe feels good? Can you touch the toes on one side and the other side you're touching the shin? That's an asymmetry and imbalance that we need to address. And someday you want to touch the tips of the toes with your fingers, with a nice straight leg. If you're doing that today, and it's pretty easy for you, then you're going to point your toes. So it just makes your feet that much further away, and it makes you open the hamstrings that much more. You got about 30 more seconds. <laughs> what? It's the same. Did you film? Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. okay, let's go two more on each side. And then you're going to draw your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around the back of your thighs, not over your shins. You don't want the, up, the strength of the upper body to overflex the knees, so you want to wrap behind the thighs. And give me some big ankle rolls in each direction, big exaggerated ones. So the, all these people, all these bodies in here, we should hear some cracking. Some creaking, some cracking. Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> and then point and flex. Mine does every time, no matter what. How's your sister today? Is she good? And then squeeze and release the toes. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Crunch them all up. Let them go. Good. And then you're going to bring your hands underneath your low back for support. Low hips. Legs straight up to the sky. Push to the ceiling through your heels. Another, another chance to assess the body. Another chance to see what's going on by looking at the leg length, right? Looking at the turn in or turn out of the legs. Hopefully they're pretty much symmetrical to each other. And just the plain old feel of it. You're just pushing straight up, but you are squeezing the inner thighs together and pushing straight up. It's a very active pose. Shoulders trying not to collect any extra tension that you already have. And then bring the legs out and straddle. Just look to your right, look to your left, say hi. Introduce yourself. And then put your foot in their face. <laughs> Good. So if it's too much effort to have your hands underneath your hips, reach down and just grab your inner thighs or hold on to your pants. Maybe even bend the knees a little bit. And push through your heels. This is it? Oh. <gasps> you held back that much? What's wrong with you? I know that's what you want. Yes. Yeah. I wanted you to put your foot right in your Bethy's face. That's how it's <laughs> and then reach down and grab the inner knee. Bend your knees. That's it. And then grab the lower leg. Sole of the foot up against the sole of the other foot. Holding the lower leg, draw the heels in and down. Press your knees to the front of the room. Feel the groin, inner thigh. All of these poses in the beginning, just designed to assess. Before you go forward, before you start kicking butt, you got to feel what's going on. So notice the groin, inner thigh, which hip, shoulders. Did you see the tension in the shoulders? <laughs> That's it, good. And then happy baby pose. So grab the outer edges of your feet, square your feet to the ceiling. And then every exhale, plug the knees deeper into your armpits. Roll your shoulders up back down, press your tailbone into the floor. You can be still. Sometimes it's really nice and very uh, comforting to the low back if you just rock from left to right. That's it. You feel your knots? 
roll over those knots. Okay, come back to center, like straight up to the sky, just shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. This is where I see the type A's, another place I see the type A's. Shake them out! That's better. Knees into your chest, and then rock yourselves up and back five or six times. Roll right over into your standing forward bend. But give yourself the time, rock back and forth. Feel the spine, maybe get some back cracks. Good. And then roll it right over. Feet are gonna be hips width apart, parallel. Start with a bent knee, just in case. Just in case yesterday carried a little too much tension, a little too much anxiety. Grab opposite elbow, so drape it over your forearms. Yeah, that's it. And hang the upper body over. Good. Bend and straighten the knees. Sway the back left to right. Forward and back on the feet. Negotiate your way through the forward bend so you can get deeper and deeper. So watch those knees collapsing in a little bit. That's it. Good. Remind me to tell you something. That's it. So let's roll, bless you. Roll to the outer edge of your foot, yep. Now, roll down just until the base of your big, right there. That's what I've been keeping meaning to tell you. Well, that's neutral. Now go where you like to go. Release the foot and go where you like to stand. See that? Yeah. It's only putting too much pressure here, right? So always make sure your knees are pointing straight ahead and that we liven up your arch a little bit. It's wrong if someone ever told you you have flat feet. It's that you have a weaker ankle, right? Overstretched. Take a few more deep breaths. You gotta really exhale. Let your head go. What do you got, something on your mind? <laughs> How dare you? I think you're chicken being back here, frankly. No comment? I think you're chicken being back here. I think you're chicken being back here. <laughs> no, I want everybody. Good, so bend your knees, release your elbows, and plant your hands on the floor. Palms flat, fingers spread, hands shoulder width apart. Let's pay special attention to the base of the pointer finger, so push that down. You gotta do whatever you can to get the palms flat, okay? And you're gonna rock forward and back. As you rock forward, push the floor away, lift your tailbone, lighten your heels. Have a little fun, just rock forward and back. Don't be nervous, your arms are certainly strong enough to bear a little bit more weight. And that's the point. You want to increase the strength. You want to open up the wrists. Good. And then leave your weight forward. Let's play around there. Lighten up the heels. Lift the tailbone. Watch the knees. They're knocking in just a little bit. Yep. Good. You could let the head hang, or you could spot out in front just a little bit. Don't spot out in front so much that you tend to disconnect the hands again. But leave it forward. Push, push. That's it. Lift the hips a little higher. Put a little bit more weight into your hands. Just a little bit more. Take a little bit of a risk. You could always walk back. I'm not gonna glue you there. There you go. That's it, I like it. And then lift the tailbone up. Walk, jump, or float back to your plank pose. Hold plank nice and strong. Push the floor away. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, chaturanga. Elbows tight to your body. Feel the pointer finger. And sweep it into your upward dog and then downward dog. Okay, we're gonna come forward into plank again. So chaturanga, I want you guys to try to build that strength. Hold it, nothing is touching the floor except your toes and your hands. No chest on the floor, no chest on the floor, no chest on the floor, inhale up dog. Whew, that's better, and downward dog. Good. Okay, so alternate calf stretch a little bit. Feel your hands, extend the arms. Such a good down dog. It. He might, um, Kevin might need help over there. <laughs> Someone might need to go rescue him. <laughs> That's it. What's going on over here? Let it go, let it go. <laughs> okay, bend the knees, pull the hips back. Bend the knees, pull the hips back. Walk your feet in a little closer to your hands. And let's do a couple little jumps, even if you're only getting off the floor enough that I slide a piece of paper under your toes. Good, push the floor away the same way you did in forward bend. Draw the upper arms towards each other. Feel light, feel lifted, nice. And then land in your standing forward bend, good. Halfway up, nice flat back. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant your hands, walk, jump, or float back to plank pose. And then chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward dog. <laughs> and exhale, downward dog. Right leg's gonna stretch up to the sky, nice and high. Sink your left heel, go a little bit higher. And your next exhale, right foot forward between your hands. Left foot flat, and come into warrior two. Shoulders down, wings fan. Look at your right middle finger. Good, bend that right knee more. So let's bring that foot out like that far. Yeah, good. Right palm faces the sky, and then reverse warrior. Keep the gaze on your right middle finger and keep deepening the right knee. There you go, good. That's it. Take that wrist, go a little bit further than your comfort zone. And then come back to warrior two. Shoulders down, deepen the knee. Keep it there and reverse warrior again. Good, up and back, up and back. Nice, so bend, 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 that's it, good. Good, hold it there, hold. And then go back to your warrior two. Shoulders down. <laughs> you didn't even know they were up. <laughs> Put your weight into your front foot and you're gonna come to the front of your mat into tree pose. Hands into heart center. That's it, you gotta strengthen that right leg. Shoulders up, back down, lift to the ceiling through the top of your head. And if you can, you're gonna extend the arms up to the sky. Keep the palms connected. That's it, good. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, lengthen your left side body, and slowly come up and over to the right. Gotta let the hips go or else you're just gonna cartwheel over and it's gonna be a mess, a domino mess. And then come back up to center, slow, slow. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Take length first, inhale, and then exhale up and over to the left. That means that hip, the hips have to go to the right a little bit. Good, that's it, nice. Come back to center. Hands into heart center. Bring the left leg in front of you. Reach down with your left hand, grab your left big toe with your left uh, pointer, middle finger, and thumb. So you could have your right hand on your hip or you could have it out to the side if you have a hard time balancing. And then extend the leg just as much as you can. Clearly, right? The problem here is that you predetermine where you want that leg to be regardless of the flexibility in your hips, in your hamstrings and then bring the leg out to the left a little bit if you can. Good, good, lift through the top of your head. I'll go behind you, don't hurt me. And bring it back to the front, that's it. Retract that shoulder if you can, better, better, good. Release the leg and bring it back into tree. That's it. Now I know why you like that sign. Yeah. <laughs> Hands and heart, <laughs> the wall. Hands and heart center. Okay, everybody, inhale the arms up to the sky. You're gonna briefly pass through warrior three. And you're gonna land down onto your left knee into crescent lunge. Good. Ultimately landing on top of the foot without the toes tucked. But that's, that's level two and beyond. Okay, lift the arms up to the sky. Baby back bend, chest lift, hips forward. Good, you might have to scoot that right foot forward a little bit more. Bring the arms out to the side like you're walking a tightrope and then left arm's gonna come under the right. Eagle arms. Shoulders down, elbows up, hands come forward. It would be good if we mic'd you guys up. And I could hear what you're mumbling under your breath. <laughs> <laughs> so pour your weight into your front foot. Level one's gonna tuck the back toe. Level two and beyond, not tucking the toe. And you're gonna come into full expression of eagle. So left leg's gonna come up over the right. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You have to stop attaching to your result. It just is what it is. The more aggravated you get, you know what happens. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Shoulders down. Then unwind that left leg and bring it back into crescent lunge. Oh yeah, landing on top of the foot if you can. Chest up, back bend, hips forward. 
Good. Come back to neutral. Press into that front foot. Back to eagle pose. We'll do it enough to get it right. Don't you worry your little hearts. <laughs> do you want one? Okay. Good. Root lock, belly lock, bring the left leg back. You got it. Back into your crescent lunge. <gasps> Surprise. More cushion. <laughs> Chest up, back bend, hips forward. That's it. I want you to see somebody behind you. You love back bend, so why are you holding back? It's your favorite. Hi. <laughs> Come back to neutral. He's like, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> and press it into your eagle pose. Good, all the way up, squeeze the inner thighs. It's the third time, you should be able to do it now. <laughs> squeeze the inner thighs together, sink in this time, sink in. Good, that's it. Okay, <laughs> who said that? California girl? <laughs> You're gonna bring that left leg out, that left foot out like a kickstand. If you don't need your hands, great. If you need your hands, you can unwind. But you're gonna descend into happy cow legs. Okay, nice and tall, chest lift, back bend, Dorsey. So sit on the block, sit on the block. Okay, chest lift, back bend, chest lift, back bend, beautiful, good. So back bend doesn't mean just drop your head back. Okay, chest lift, back bend, nice. Come to neutral and fold it over. Good, take a few deep breaths, get length. That's it, good. Nice, inhale you get long, exhale you get depth. I don't mind, but you're going lower. <laughs> Okay. So let's go here then. See okay. if that helps you a little bit. I'd rather you just be grounded. Yeah, I think so. Good. Take one more deep breath. One more big exhale. Come upright. Unwind your arms. Without panic, turn to the right. Hands on the floor. Okay? Glue your hands to the floor. Glue your feet. Swing it around and come to the other side. Have a little fun, smile a little bit, good. So now you're just on the other side. We're not gonna use the arms, we're just gonna take a deep breath in and fold it forward. Holy hips, Batman. That's it. This is good. You all right? Yep. Just be careful. If you want it, if it agitates the knee, yeah. sit on a block or I'll get you a bolster. It's okay? Good. I want you in the video. There was no space. Okay. <laughs> you didn't hide on purpose, right? Inhale, get long. Exhale, get depth. That's it. That's it. If you can, you're going to roll right over your legs and come into standing forward bend with your right leg crossed over your left leg. So some of you are going to have to bend the knees a little bit. Some of you are just fine dropping in. Feet together and try to get your feet flat. Push down through your feet. Push down, push down, push down. Good, take a deep breath in. Take a big exhale. Nice. Ah, that's good. Wow, I don't know where, you came, where it came from. <laughs> good, good, feel both feet. Bend the knees if you need to, or I'll get you some blocks. Okay, uncross your feet. Step the feet out a little bit and come into squat. Not gonna stay too long. Just get there, roll your shoulders up, back down. Oh, you might feel a little crooked right now, but be pliable here. Back is flatter, heart is through. Take a deep breath in, hands down to the floor. Straighten your legs, shake your head out, shake your legs out, heel toe your feet right underneath you. Plant your hands and pour your weight into your hands. Rock back and forth, back and forth. Leave your weight forward, walk, jump or float back to plank pose. Take a deep breath in and exhale, chaturanga. Hands flat, fingers spread. That's it, upward dog and downward dog. Left leg up to the sky and left foot forward between your hands. It wasn't you, there was a couple cheetahs in the room and I'm not gonna call out. So come to warrior two, good. Other side, warrior two, back foot flat. Make sure you have enough 
Space. You can um, space your feet out a little bit more. You're tall. If it's slippery, we'll get you the water. Does anybody have the water? Okay, left palm up to the sky and reverse warrior. That's it. Looking at that left middle finger, bend the left knee more. Come on, kittens. Back to warrior two. <laughs> Sit, shoulders down, wingspan, left palm up to the sky, and reverse warrior. Good, good. And then back to warrior two. Bend that knee deep, better. Shoulders down, huh. good. Pour your weight into your left foot and press it to the front of your mat into tree pose. Right foot on the inside of the left leg. Hands into heart center. You stay here by having a connection between the right sole of the foot and the left inner thigh. Right foot pushes, left inner thigh pushes. That brings you to your center and helps you balance. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Keep pushing that foot in. Grab the left wrist with the right hand. Come up and over to the right. That's it. Got a little turbulence. Got a little turbulence. <laughs> That's it. So in order to do that, yep, there you go, there you go. Come back to center, come back slow. Now grab your right wrist, take length, inhale, exhale, take depth. Keep pushing the heel and the inner thigh. Good. Come back to center. Take a deep breath in, on your exhale, bring your hands into heart center. Good. Roll your shoulders up, back down, keep the lift. Bring the right foot in, or right, right leg in front of you. Reach out your right first two fingers and thumb. Grab the right big toe. Take a deep breath in and extend the right leg as much as you can today. Left hand's on your hip, out to the side, but it's somewhere. Don't just let it flop in the wind there somewhere. You could stay here or bring the right leg out to the right. You don't have to. So your hip doesn't go with you. Bring it back in front. Stay with yourself. Bend the knee. Bring it back into tree pose. Hands into heart center. Good. And then bring your arms up to the sky. Hinge it back through warrior three. Landing on the toes or on top of the right foot in crescent lunge. Hips forward. Chest up and back. Dorsey. <laughs> Come to neutral. Arms out like you're walking a tightrope. Right arm under the left arm. Shoulders down. Elbows up. Pour your weight into that front foot and come into eagle pose. Right leg over left. That's it. I love that drag. <laughs> yep. I love it. Shoulders down, elbows up, squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now unwind the right leg, land back on the knee. No crashing. That's it. Inhale, chest up, back bend, hips forward. So nice, makes me wanna cry. Hips forward more, more, because I know you can. Oh, there you go. Hold him back again. Come back to neutral and eagle pose. That's it. It's so tempting to tuck, tuck that toe. So tempting to tuck that toe. Get low. That's it. The lower you go on the legs, the higher the elbows go. That's it. Shoulders down. Unwind back into crescent lunge. There you go. You fixed your mat right up for yourself. Yep, good, you got it. Beautiful, those fingers pop, they're full of energy. Good, this is gorgeous. Try to drop down a little bit here. Yes, good. Last time, back into eagle pose. There you go, Deb. That's it. Squeeze the knees together, sink in. Shoulders down, elbows up. Breathe, breathe. This was the third one, right? Yes. 
<laughs> oh my God. So I want you to use that right foot as a kickstand. And you're gonna keep the arms there if it's a possibility and lower down into happy cow legs. If you are in danger of crashing, use your hands. That's it. Maybe you snuggle your butt over to the left a little bit, but ground your hips on the floor. If you need something to sit on, let me know. You okay? What leg was over? What leg is on top, you guys? Right, switch. Yep. Okay, chest lift, back bend. It was a legit question, not a test. <laughs> and then fold it forward. Good, reach beyond those legs. I would have gotten it for you, Miss Chris. I'm telling you, the martyrdom is just too much to take. That's it. Good. Nice. There you go. Good. Okay, come up. Unwind the arms. Whoop, whoop. Turn to the left, hands to the floor, and switch it to the other side. Fun and fancy. Good. If it totally confuses you, just sit down and switch legs. <laughs> Arms up to the sky. Deep breath in and fold it over. I'm tired of the confusion though. How many years did I not do that because you guys all used to get confused? But it's so much more fun. Right? So try not to grit down on your teeth when you're here. Try to let the lower jaw just hang, the belly be a little soft, and you'll feel a release in the hips. Just come. Good, Chris. Fold it forward. Fold it forward. <laughs> if you can, you're going to roll over your legs to standing forward bend. This time, the left leg will be crossed in front of the right. Feet flat, good. If you can't, swing the legs around, walk to standing forward bend. Push down through your feet and drape yourself over. It will be a little bit dicier here than regular forward bend. Do the best you can. That's it, good. Nice, hold, breathe. Push down through those feet. And then uncross the legs. It's gonna feel like heaven. And into squat. Good. Roll your shoulders up, back down. Sink the hips. Feet are flat. And most important, knees track the same direction the toes do. I don't care where the toes go. That has more to do with your structure than your flexibility. But I do care that the knees track over. You're good. Okay, you can stay here, or you can plant your hands on the floor. Palms flat, shoulder width. You know the chalkboard in the front? If you had no, if fear or money weren't an issue, in this case it most likely fear, to try at least level one to float, to fly, to bear weight into your hands and put the knees on the back of your arms and just rock back and forth, just like you did when you were in standing forward bent. Not so scary. And then maybe that left foot will fly. Maybe the right one will fly. But it's really not your choice. It's about your position of your body, the confidence that you have, a little bit of a risk that you take. Push the floor away. Yes, good. Nice. And then lower the feet back down. Come up to standing. Heel toe your feet together. Arms overhead, deep breath, and exhale. Standing forward bend. You guys good? It's so funny how quiet you are when we film. We're going to film every day. Walk or jump back, plank pose. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg up to the sky. We're going through it again, abbreviated, okay? So now you know where to go. Now you're happy because you know where to go. You're a little more warm, so take it to a little, little more depth. Right foot forward between your hands. Left foot flat. Warrior two. You're gonna keep moving. Reverse warrior. Take your time getting there. Deepen it, deepen it. And back to warrior two. Good. And then reverse warrior. Keep moving, keep moving. Is this the bad one? No, that's Okay, good. Bad. All right, good. And back to your warrior two. Press it into tree pose. Hands into heart center. That's it. 
Good, arms up to the sky. Okay, you really want to challenge yourself. If your tree is great and you're right on it today, try to close your eyes right now. That'll rock your world. <laughs> now you now you gotta have body awareness. <laughs> I know everybody that tried it, and I know everybody that peaked, because you stayed perfect. Hands into heart center. Good. Grab your left big toe. Extend the leg out in front. No predetermined ex expectation of what it's gonna look like. Just is. Release the leg out in front and hold the leg there. Wherever it is, it is. Hold, hold. Good, bend the knee right where it is, lift the thigh higher, and extend the leg out straight. There you go. Bend the knee, lift the thigh higher, and extend it out. There you go. And then bend the knee, and tree pose. Hands into heart center once you get that foot situated. Inhale your arms up to the sky. And then exhale through warrior three into crescent. Where do I go? Where do I go? Good. Arms up to the sky. Deep breath in. Arms out like you're walking a tightrope. Left arm under the right arm. Press into your right leg and into eagle. You just hating on your mat, Chris. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and then back into your crescent lunge. She's hardcore, man. She doesn't no mat. No mat. Chest up. Chest lift. Hi, Doris. And come back through center. Were you holding your breath? Is that why you were able to sound like a little bit of a horse right there? Because <laughs> you were holding it? <laughs> and back into your eagle pose. This isn't that equine yoga. Stay one more deep breath. Get there and bring it back to your crescent. Chest up, back bend, inhale. Good, exhale, hips forward. I know you can, that's it. Good, wave. Why are we not doing that? <laughs> Good, and come into your eagle pose. Eagle, eagle. What does an eagle say? <laughs> get in there, get in there. Use your kickstand and descend into your happy cow legs. That's it, good. Inhale, chest up, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Keeping the arms if you can. If you can't, no big deal. It's not that you can't, just at the very moment I'm unable to comply, right? <laughs> there is no can't. And then come, I would sit back a little bit. Okay. It's not up enough, by the way. Okay. In my day, yeah, yeah. Come up right. Good, unwind the arms, turn to the right. Switch, switch. Good, take a deep breath in, arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, fold it over. She is. That's it, good. So you don't even need the block anymore, you're good. Oh, hi. Over your legs, over your legs, into standing forward bend, right away, uncross the legs, roll it up to standing, arms overhead, inhale, you know what, close your eyes here, inhale, exhale, keep the eyes closed, trust that you know where to go, you've been here before, standing forward bend, fold it over, keep the eyes closed, plant your hands, keep the eyes closed, walk or jump back plank pose. Inhale, eyes are still closed, chaturanga. I'll tell you when to open, let's put them that way. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. Walk, jump, or float to standing forward bend. Oh, a little different. Don't cheat, don't peek. Plant your hands, walk, jump, or float, back to plank pose, chaturanga. Upward dog, and downward dog. Peek where your feet are now, and your hands. Crazy, right? There you go. One more time. Walk, jump, float, eyes still closed. Good. That's it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear, a little old God. And then bend your knees, plant your hands, walk or jump back. Nice. Now peek, see where your feet are. Some of you, it's pretty funny. Yeah. That's, that's something you can do on your own, and you don't need me to tell you if you're misaligned or not. Chaturanga. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Upward dog and downward dog. 
<laughs> left leg up to the sky, left foot forward. You're almost there, a little happiness. Come into warrior two. By the way, you guys can't just close your eyes. You're like this. <laughs> it's like, God. <laughs> And left palm up to the sky, reverse warrior. That's it. I know, I was just gonna say, you don't even trust yourself. Come to warrior two, deeper, deeper, reverse warrior. And warrior two, nice. Into tree pose. Good. Get there, hands heart center. Maybe you're even gonna close your eyes. Nice. <laughs> Open your eyes if they're closed. Bring that right foot in front. Grab the right big toe. Good. Extend the leg out the best that you can. Stay here or bring the leg out to the right. So use that left arm to counterbalance you. Bring it back in front. Release the leg right where it is. That's it, a little higher. Bend the knee, lift the thigh higher, and extend through your heel. That's what I'm talking about. Bend the knee, lift the thigh higher. Extend. Come on, Mimi, bend the knee, lift the knee higher. Extend, good. Bring it back into your tree pose. That's it, arms up to the sky, inhale. Pass through warrior three into your crescent pose. Arms up to the sky. Chest lift, back bend, deep breath. Hands out to the side, and you're gonna bring the right arm under the left arm. Step it into the right, left foot, into eagle. You're too young to know, but we used to do, this is a show called Zoom when we were little. Remember this? Oh, don't even. And you, I know. <laughs> She didn't even, no, she didn't, <laughs> bring it back into crescent lunge. That's not right. What was it, Monday? Yes, it was a song. I just watched Rock and Roll. I don't even know what that is. Chest lift, back bend. She doesn't know who Donna Summer is. I know. <laughs> I know. Back into Eagle. She's too young. I got the <laughs> I was like, we dance, uh, we dance in enough bars to these songs and you've even been alive. The years you've been alive. Sink in, sink in. One more time. Back into crescent lunge. Chest lift, back bend. So much fun. That's it, Charlie. Come back into your eagle. <laughs> Squeeze. Use your kickstand and come into your miserable heifer. Happy cow, whatever mood you're in. What is it? Right leg over left? Good, take a deep breath in, chest lift, back bend. Nice, Lori, and fold it forward. Good. I want you to go home and download to your iPod <laughs> Donna Summer's Greatest Hits. <laughs> oh, don't even, don't even go there. Let's dance. <laughs> and then come up and release the arms. Turn to the left and switch it up. Did you win? Once you <laughs> Is that what's going on here? Arms up to the sky, deep breath. And forward bend. If you're going to compete, you got to let someone know they're competing. Yeah. Or else it's... Take a big inhale, take a big exhale. And you're gonna come upright, you're gonna straighten the legs out in front of you. You're gonna roll down onto your back. Scoot to the front of your mat so your head's on your mat. Arms down by your side, palms flat, and bring it back into plow pose. Good work, people. Good, so snuggle those shoulders under. If your feet do not touch the floor, bend the elbows and put your palms on your back for support. If your feet touch the floor, I want you to consider interlacing your fingers and extending your arms along the floor. Good. 
you can't breathe, all you have to do is bring the feet closer to your head and drop your hips towards the front of the room. It's not like you have to come out of the pose. So what I want you to be careful of here is that you don't hyperextend the elbows. Yeah. Feel the difference? So push them to the yeah. Okay. So sometimes when people have a lot of flexibility, they overwork and then they wear on the joint. And you have to find that kind of balance. Just because you have that range doesn't mean you have to go full. Yeah. Right? You don't want to, and it's going to be hard for you mm -hmm. to stop, but you don't want to pop the elbows out. Good. I think this is the same direction they were when you jumped back, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, everybody, hands on your back, and you're going to come up into shoulder stand. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Mom. Your ankle cracked. You're welcome, Good. sweetheart. You're welcome, sweet angel. That's what goes on in my house every day. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, sweet angel. <laughs> in my brain, anyway, it does. <laughs> Good, so this is a very active pose. You're squeezing inner thighs together. You're pressing up. This is you find yourself answering in what you want to hear, like. <laughs> in, in my head all the time. Yes, Sarah, of course I do that. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, I always do that. Sure, Mom. You okay? You look a little scurred. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know my neck. Okay, we'll get you a blanket. Let's do a blanket. So next time, we're coming out of it, but next time we'll put a blanket under, and it'll ease out a little. Okay. You fold it up, the blanket's here, and your head hangs off of it a little That's bit. good. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No need to suffer. See? Martyr. <laughs> okay, knees to your forehead. Don't crash. Straighten your legs a little, just so you can counterbalance and you don't roll out too quick. Hands on the floor and roll it down one vertebra at a time until your legs are straight up to the sky. Good. Okay, so you might want to stagger yourselves now. If you have a soft block nearby, put it between your inner thighs. <laughs> arms are out to your, yeah, arms are out to your side. You have, unless you have leg, inner thighs of steel, baby. All right. If you knock a tooth out, I don't want to know about it. Okay? <laughs> so just press your legs up to the sky first. Arms are out to the side, palms flat. Good. That's it. A little life in the feet. Okay, bend your knees. 90 degrees. And then you're going to drop your knees to the right. Reach and look over your left shoulder. Okay? You're going to straighten your legs right where they are. Preferably, those feet are going to hover right over your hands, but they're not relaxing there. So move up, Joelle, if you don't have room. And then legs straight up to the sky. And bend the knees. Drop left. Reach and look over your right shoulder. That's your counterbalance. Straighten your legs as much as you can, and straight up to the sky. Good. Don't cross your ankles. That's cheating. Bend. Oops, sorry. Drop right. Cheating. Straighten. Now, if it's too hard, don't straighten. Straight up. And keep going on your own. Bend. Drop. I have the timer going. Straighten. Straight up. Good. That's it. When you come straight up, don't hit me. Good. There you go. I saw every muscle in your body moving to do that. Good. So I want your feet up. Tickle her armpit. <laughs> there you go. Tickle her armpit. Do it back. Good. Come back, Stella. <laughs> Only she did it. She, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I like that opportunity to scooch. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Oh. 
<laughs> what do you want me to say? Yes. There's a new. There's a schedule. Uh, um, with a couple of changes. Just make sure. But yeah. But my class is there. Yeah. We're gonna beat the stuffing out of you. <laughs> you got 20 seconds, so now's not the time to stop. <laughs> Hurting? <laughs> Hurting? <laughs> then don't straighten your legs. Keep them bent and just go side to side. So we're working on your rotation, getting more flexibility before we kick it in there. Did you move there first or did you end up there? No, I moved there. Okay. <laughs> okay, knees into center. And everybody's going to take that block and you're going to put it underneath your low back. Who does not have a soft block? Need a couple? Okay. Legs straight up to the sky. Do you, you want a soft one? You good, right? You want a soft one? I gotcha, I gotcha. Good, okay. That's it. That's perfect. Perfect, yep. Yes. Um, it's kind of lower rather than high. You'll know when your legs go straight up, because if it hurts, you'll know you're you're wrong. Yeah. This is just this is just a restorative pose. There's not really much going on. If it's very if it's a lot of effort for you, then you're just gonna bend the knees a little bit. But I still want I just want the legs straight up to the sky. I want you to feel inner thighs squeezing together, push up through your heels, and feel like you can hold a tray with your feet. That's it. I know. Are you being wise? <laughs> Are you speaking the truth? Okay. <laughs> Knees into your chest. Extend your right leg on the floor. And left knee in nice and nice and close. So reach down, grab behind your left thigh. Okay, really pushing that right leg. Inhale, let's pull the left knee in. Exhale, push the right leg long. So my guys are gonna draw the knee straight in. Ladies are gonna bring that knee a little bit more towards your armpit. That's it, but keep pushing that right leg. So since you're popping a wheelie, let's go one lower. So you don't have to go totally flat, just go, yeah, go that way, yeah. Good, so push, push, that's it. Popping wheelies, causing trouble. Whatever's better, I think maybe flex a little bit better. Push, yeah. Okay, and now you're gonna bring that left leg into a half happy baby. If you need a strap, if you can't reach, let me know, get your strap. Need a strap? Good. Left foot is square to the ceiling. Let's see you lasso it, cowboy. Yep. Now, so go somewhere in between. So bending the knee, it's not straight. Yep, that's it. Can you reach her? With the other hand? Yeah. Go here so you don't torque the foot. That's it. Now push. Yes. But ground it. So it's right hip flexor, right? <laughs> yes. That's it, that's it. <laughs> How's that? We'll let you we'll let you do that for today. Mm, mm, mm. Good. Okay, let it go. Nice and easy. Slide the left leg straight, right knee into your chest. No scrunchy face. You have to. <laughs> so I prefer if you grab behind the thigh. Because I know that you're going to muscle this one a little bit, and I don't want you to overflex your knee. Inhale, pull the knee in. Exhale, push the left leg long. That's it. Good. <laughs> Now push your left leg. 
<laughs> right away, gr you gr get on your teeth. So right away, your hip's not going to open up. It's going to lock right up. So if you ever had a baby, personally, you would know. They don't tell you to grind your teeth and clamp down your mouth and your. They tell you to go, right? The ha 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 is a farce. It's about relaxing your jaw. <laughs> and then half happy baby. Last time, half happy baby with a smile on your face. That's much easier on that side. Great. Good. How'd you switch that? Did you flip it? <laughs> I wish that was on film. <laughs> Pops up. And you're going to work it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's it. Good. Good. Inhale, pull that knee in. Push the left leg long. Nice. And then let it go. Nice and easy. Okay, both knees bent, both feet flat. Take a second or two. Once you're ready, push into your feet, lift your butt up, and slide the block out. I'm gonna slide the block out. It's gonna feel like you're sinking into a hole now. I'm gonna shake the legs out. And shake the arms out. We did a lot of spinal twists when we did our wiper abs things, but if you feel like you need another little spinal twist, that's fine. Bring your arms out to your side, palms face up in a receptive pose. This is anatomical neutral. This opens up the shoulders, the heart, the chest. If your palms face down, it closes it off. So once the palms are up, I want you to bring your attention to your palms. And once you bring your awareness somewhere, you start to feel heat, maybe even tingling. And imagine this just heavy sphere just hanging out in your palms, maybe blue. And breathing in and out through your nose right now, deep down into your belly. If at any time your mind starts to wander, or gets distracted, bring it back to the palms and the heaviness of the sphere. And just take this time to allow yourself some nice deep inhale, exhales. Maybe times in our lives when it seems as if we keep having the same kinds of experiences. The situation or the people involved may be different each time, yet one encounter may feel exactly like the last and the one before that. Perhaps we left a job where we were unhappy and we find ourselves facing similar challenges in our current position. A relationship with a new romantic partner may start to seem a lot like our old one and the problems resemble those we thought we had left behind. We may feel disappointed or frustrated and wonder why the same situation and people keep showing up in our lives. The truth is that the identical experiences do not keep happening to us. After all, the circumstances and the individuals involved are always different. We simply keep having the same kinds of experiences. 
subconsciously there is a great value to be had in going through life in the same way until we are ready to have different experiences. Perhaps we feel unworthy of happiness or worry that we cannot get a break. Our lives tend to reflect what we believe about them. After all, most of us do not like to be proven wrong. We may even derive dissatisfaction in being right or gain a sense of safety every time we confirm to ourselves that we know the way the world works. We may choose a relationship partner who is very different from our last significant other and hope that this time love will turn out differently. Despite this, as long as we hold those beliefs that restrict the good we can experience in our relationship, we'll, we will create the identical dynamic of limited happiness with any partner. We bring ourselves and our beliefs to every situation. If we can figure out which of those convictions no longer serve us, we can consciously change them, make fresh choices, and start having new kinds of experiences that are in line with what we want in life. So together, take a deep breath in through your nose and hold the breath. Take in more and a little bit more and through the nose only, exhale. And again, full deep breath in through the nose, deep into the belly. Hold. Take in more. And a little bit more. Exhale. One more time, full deep breath in. Expand the belly, hold the breath, but relax the body. And take in more, and a tiny bit more. And through the nose only, exhale. Start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and slowly bend your knees, bring your feet flat to the floor. Rub out the bottoms of your feet, tap them out, wake yourself up, and roll over onto your right side, curl up into fetal position. In your next exhale, come up to seated. Easy cross leg, tall back, chin to the chest. Inhale, arms overhead, palms press. And exhaling, hands into heart center. Bring your fingertips to your third eye of intuition. May people of the world be healthy and prosperous. May people of authority aim for justice and peace. And may all things sacred be protected. Namaste.